On the start of the second day, we covered passing and discussed the different ways to execute a pass. Our first on-track session was stop box lapping with passing cones set up in turns 11 and 12. We had to pretend like the cones were a car and move over like we are making a pass going into the corner. As we did yesterday, we didn't have to stop at the stop box. We were able to roll right through it to maximize our track time. Then we moved to one regular stop box session without the passing cones to get one more final tune at our racing line. The next session we focused on passing again, but we ditched the cones for actual cars. We were joined on track by instructors, and we would get a point by to pass going into turn one. We had to lead them to turn 11, where they would pass us back, and we were pointed by again at the end of the straightaway into turn 12. It was the first time I had the chance to feel like I was racing and dicing it up with other drivers on the racetrack. It was absolutely exhilarating. <laughs> In between our sessions, we looked over onboard footage and data to further fine tune our line and see what we needed to work on for the rest of the day. The next open lapping session began with two double file race starts and one single file restart. After that, we were pointed by the pace car, one at a time, to begin open lapping. No stop box, but no passing unless you were pointed by on either the front stretch or back stretch. The final session of the day put together all the skills learned in both the three-day and the two-day advanced school. In the last open lapping session, we were allowed to pass, 
and once again joined out on track by two instructors. Might be the first um, diploma some of you guys have ever had. <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> habitual offender right here. <laughs> from Circuit of the Americas with Skip Barber Racing. What a blast. A lot of track time. Getting out on track with the instructors was huge. You're able to follow them and race around with them and really pick up on a lot of things that you might be missing on. You, you get the feedback after you come off the track and it, and it helps, but being there and getting that live feedback and being able to watch the instructors was huge. So two day advanced school, it's just awesome. You have to come out here and try it, whether it be the Mustangs, or the formula cars, it's just an absolute blast. And Coda's a perfect track to learn on. Lots of runoff, yet very, very technical. So check them out, skipbarber.com. But for now, I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>